Good evening. We're about to head off for a ride into Vilnius Old Town. And it's the last night or the last day of having the Royal Enfield Classic 350. The weather has finally, finally changed here in Lithuania. And I think here on day 10, it's the first day where we've had nothing nothing but blue sky so we're going to go for a ride now it's about 6 30 we're going to go and get some dinner and then i think there may be a sunset spot if we've figured out where it is i think we have but only on google searching so after dinner we'll then head off for a nice sunset spot grab a drink soak in vilnius at its very best because in the evening it comes alive and also one final ride with this classic 350 make the most of it my lord, I love this bike so, so much. We used to hang around town pretty late. I spent the week thinking about the next day. It was easier than, so much easier than, or like that. Time I picked you up outside of school Said, screw my dad, I make my own rules It was easier then So much easier then Take me back to the Take me back to those easy summer days When we stopped at nothing, baby Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby They couldn't take us They couldn't change us They couldn't care just if they tried Now we didn't care at all About winter or spring or fall We felt so alive And girl we were thriving On kisses and sunshine and mischief Yeah we had one of those things We just had one of those things Guess I've had some things to figure out But now that I'm done, I'm full of doubt Was it easy for you? Yeah, was it too easy for you? You used to say that you would always be mine But you seem to be doing just fine Now I think about you I just can't seem to stop thinking about you Take me back to the Take me back to those easy summer days When we stopped at nothing, babe Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby They couldn't take us They couldn't change us They couldn't catch us if they tried Now we didn't care at all About winter or spring or fall We felt so alive and girl, we were thriving on kisses and sunshine and mischief yeah, we had one of those things. So this is Bernaleo Ujega. <laughs> Monica, is that good? Bernardo Ujega. Thank you. So mm -hmm. Monica assures me that this is a proper traditional Lithuanian restaurant that she used to go to as a child. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for traditional Lithuanian food when you come to Vilnius, definitely check this place out. And about five minutes ago, Monica was happy singing along to the music in the background. <laughs> a lot of good memories for her. But the menu is full of all of the Lithuanian classics. A huge amount of the potato and the bread dishes. Even this is a proper Perfect timing. Actually, proper Lithuanian beer here with it's like that timing was meant to be. Monica, can you can you call this because I can't pronounce the name? Captaduana. And this is extremely popular. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Apparently. And this is coming from Monica. You absolutely must have this with a beer. Yes, yes, that's If you don't have this with a beer, forget it. It doesn't work. <laughs> Delicious, gorgeable. I can already tell I'll be full even after eating just half of this, but we've got the next course after. Simple, gorgeable food. This is such a speciality. This is Cepeline. Cepeline. I, I can't. <laughs> Monica was teaching me for about two minutes to get the pronunciation right. I still can't. Cepeline. Cepeline, yes. And it is 
well, we've had to wait 45 minutes for this because it's made completely from scratch. They've had to mash the potatoes, everything from scratch. It is potatoes, and when you cut inside it, it's got a mince filling. Mm -hmm. So effectively, two potato dumplings, mince filling, with just a bit of oil, a few vegetables on top. Mm -hmm. I haven't had this in a while. Good. So good. So good. Well, that was delicious. I'll include all of the details of the restaurant, the address, etc., in the written description below so you can check it out because that's highly recommended. So what do you think about Lithuanian food? Yeah, I love it. You know, it's, it's good, hearty food. It's the kind of food where you cannot move afterwards. You're so full. <laughs> it feels like the kind of food designed to make you as full as physically possible. Delicious. Quite lucky we're actually going on the bike now. So I want to try and make the most of this because it's a lovely, lovely evening. This is Vilnius at its very best. And Vilnius Old Town, where we are right now, at this time of the day, about 8.30, about an hour and a half or an hour before sunset, let's see if we can do it some justice and show you a few of the old streets. And after that, we'll then head to, hopefully, a hill at the top of the city for a glorious little sunset spot. it when we came over here but I think this is a bit of a biker spot here because there are about 20 different motorbikes all parked up so I'll try and show you as many as I can to to just show the kinds of bikes that are here in Vilnius at this brilliant sunset spot it's about nine o'clock now and oh, it's just got a great vibe with all of these lined up Africa twin oh, I don't see many of those in UK I love that is that yours Africa twin owner sorry do you mind if I film it is that okay it's just a great looking bike, 750. Beautiful Africa twin, onto the Harley, thank you. Cheers. Onto mean looking blacked out Harley, Kawasaki Z. Z1000, Z I think. KTM, one of those electric ones. Honda, BMW GS1250, BMW S1000XR, BMW S1000R. Beautiful looking Harley there, and that's a rare one behind it. That is a Honda. Oh, that's rare. Honda X1100 with a Harley Davidson, of course, a Royal Enfield there. Yamaha there. 
a few more bikers coming in and then a beast of a BMW and Kawasaki behind him. You can see huge amount, huge amount of bikers all coming along, constantly coming and going. It's a great atmosphere. These are so popular in Vilnius, it's kombucha, and I've only just discovered it. It's fermented tea leaves, fermented mm -hmm. for three weeks. Apparently they're really healthy, but they're delicious. I, I went over and did the best job I could of filming bikes, but Monica was petrified that I was about to get stabbed by some No, not gang. stabbed. I uh, just beaten up. Yeah. And so Monica gave me three minutes until I came back, otherwise she was about to run over and help me out. But luckily, all lovely. There's a brilliant selection, genuinely, probably about 10% look like they're potential gang members. That's such a good mix. You've got a few hard, fairly hardcore looking Harley riders there and there. Then you get some sports riders come in. You've got a Dodge Challenger just pulling up all the time. It's just a constant conveyor belt of different motorbikes. And with the view. So sun setting over there. Unfortunately, we just missed it, but over there, there was a handful of hot air balloons just flying that oh, yeah. way, or just floating over that way, but they're gone. But what a spot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Well done, Monica. Thank well you. done. Beautiful. Oh, you can hear them. Harley's heading off. Monica, I'll be safe now. They're gone. It's okay. <laughs> Right, it's, well, it gets dark significantly later. It's 9.30 and there's still plenty of sunlight left, but we'll head home. Could stay all evening just looking at these. I mean, just look at it in general. You've got all of the Vespers lined up. I think they're all part of, as far as I can see, a Vespa Riders Lithuania Club, all of these Vespers, because they all came in exactly the same time everything here I could stay all evening and the cars as well and the view not many Royal Enfields that's a very good point I I haven't seen well there hasn't been one Royal Enfield here today yeah. and there also hasn't been one Triumph here today either seems to be sports bikes or and mainly it, sports Harley bikes or Harleys Davidson's. with a few a few BMWs but the, the British stuff mm -hmm. no not much of Monica, should we go? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, I'll wrap it up. Shall I wrap it? Yes. Okay, let's wrap it up here. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming along. It has been, oh, it's been a magical evening. Really, really magical. I could just sit here all day just watching the bikers come and go. And do you know what's also extra special to see? You get distracted so easily. <laughs> That's amazing. What's extra specialty? It's men and women out as well. Bikers. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a genuine mix here of all kinds of bikers. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Please do give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next one.